Gateway. In terms of single venue attendance, it's one of Australia's top summer spectator sports. Every weekend, fans flock to over 200 speedways throughout the country to get their kicks of the dirt track fix. Given that the sport attracts a basic cross-section of the general community, there's no such thing as a typical speedway fan. Though the sport boasts a strong spectator base from the blue-collar demographic, there are also professional people like doctors, lawyers, architects and the like who enjoy getting their backsides tracks on. Though most Aussies associate Speedway with the radical looking sprint cars, fans now are looking more and more for variety. That's why the sport's newest division, the Amca Nationals, is enjoying a rapid rise in growth and popularity. The division appeals to a number of different demographics. Former greats of the sport are coming back to Speedway now that they have found an affordable form of racing. Newcomers, who have never raced before in their lives, love the Amics. And Speedway greats are putting their sons and daughters behind the wheel with great faith in what the Amkers offer. Oh, you might recognise these familiar faces. John Pine on the left and Stu Robertson on the right. You guys have been racing against each other for, well, it's well over a quarter of a decade. Yeah, this is true. It's been you know, a fantastic time with Stu and myself. You know, it doesn't matter who wins on the night. It's just been a, a rivalry between the pair of us, which has been great over the decade, or oh, a quarter of a decade. It's been a long time. Now, Stu Robertson, one of the cool things about racing is that this battle can go on, and it is, because your son David and, and Piney's son Luke are now racing against each other in Amkers. Why are the Amker ranks for you? Oh, I think it's a good learning curve for young boys. Um, the street stockers are not very good. And, uh, these are V8s, so they've got a bit more power, and uh, they look a bit uh, fancy on the track. Finally, you never really hesitated to get Luke into this class, did you? Well, I thought it was great because it's a restricted class. It's a class that you can't spend me mega dollars on. It's a good class for young kids or young girls to learn in. It doesn't matter what age group it is. It's, it's just a class that's very restricted, and it's, and it's good fun. You can go out there first time out. You can go out, out there and race. It's not just the drivers and the fans, though, who find appeal in the Amcus. Speedway promoters, too, are looking to the division as a big part of the overall picture. I guess you've got to think that if a promoter really believes in a division, he goes out and buys his own. David Lander, the promoter of Parramatta City Raceway, you obviously see some future in the Amcas. You're racing one yourself. I think the Amcas are the future, because are the future, because are the future of uh, Speedway. I think uh, because there's such a price-controlled entry-level racing that... Uh, that's where the future is. Most the history of our sport has been add more money and throw more money at cars, go faster, throw more money at it. The, with the way these rules are set up, um, that won't be the the case. And I think that's where the future will be by having a controlled money level racing car. It's been a while since you've raced competitively. It was back in what the late 60s, the early 70s. Oh, no, 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 74. Okay. 74. All right, the, the mid 70s then. You nervous? I am a little, yeah, I am a little, but uh, tonight I'm borrowing a car because uh, ours isn't finished yet, it'll be finished the next four weeks, and I just want to see what it's like. Uh, Will there be any penalties handed out to drivers that pass you or will you just kill oh, yeah, them? No, I won't be allowed back, won't be allowed back, definitely. Since the division was founded back in 1996, the AMCA car count has grown to over 150 nationally. And that growth, like the cars themselves, shows little sign of slowing down. One of the reasons the class is so popular with the drivers is the cars are so competitive. Strict guidelines and regulations keep the cars competitive and more importantly, keep the costs of racing down. Sponsorship of Amcas represents real value too. In Sydney alone, Amca drivers at times find themselves on national TV through the SBS network and pay TV networks Optus and Foxtel. The very nature of the fiberglass bodies also allows plenty of side exposure. Your company has plenty of room to zoom on the side of an Amca. If it's a sport with a future, a vision, national appeal and some television exposure that you want, then the answer is simple. Sponsors, 
drivers, promoters and fans alike. They all know the answer is rational. If you want to enjoy your racing and get tangible benefits, get behind an Amca National.